Hi, I'm Shane McLeod from Remax Gold in Gladstone and welcome along for this tour of 10 Carroll Street in Sun Valley. Feature packed home this one, a hell of a lot packed into one home and in a great little uh, spot here in Sun Valley. You've got the Phillips Street uh, shopping precinct in, just in the street behind us, petrol, groceries, fish and chips, bottle shop. I think there's a hairdresser there too from memory. Uh, also just moments away from the uh, Sun Valley Marketplace uh, with bigger grocery stores and more takeaways, uh, all those options. King Chorus School also within walking distance, as is Tulua High School. So a great all-rounder for families, as is this home. Uh, a lot, as I said, packed in. Three bedrooms upstairs, near new kitchen, new bathroom, big home underneath Granny Flat, a ton of parking options, spa out the back. You'll see it all on the tour. Let's spin the camera around, have a quick look around the street, and then we'll get you for the walkthrough. Okay, so as we pan around the street, well, it is called a street. It's actually a cul-de-sac, so uh, not a busy street by any stretch. Generally, only the people who are living down here will get down this end of the street. Good, tidy homes around you. Everything well kept. Great neighbours. Uh, very tidy throughout. All right, and as we get round to the front of the home, uh, hard to get an idea of the scope of just what's in this place from the street, but really well kept, that is quite obvious from the street. Beautiful gardens there in the front, tons of parking options. Uh, you've got dual driveways uh, both sides, so carport accommodation uh, on both sides of the home, plus a little bit up that left-hand side, and there is a single garage in behind that as well. And then, as you'll see as we come up, Behind this front fence here, also another turnaround area that will easily fit in a good sized trailer, dinghy, uh, somewhere well in off the street uh, with some shade cloth protection there as well. So as I said, on this side, there's a bit more parking space here. So, you know, you'll get a little camper van or something even up in here. That gate does open all the way up just to get you in behind the house. Besser block underneath the home and fibro. All security screened. Just lots of little extras you'll see on your inspection here as well. So underneath has been built in. Uh, originally, I'd venture to say it was all open, but as these high sets generally do, they get built in over time. What would have been a garage here has been built into another tiled rumpus room. It's all air conditioned. And you can see the access through to the back there. We'll pop out there in a moment. It's plexiglass along those bricks on the outside to stop any vermin getting in. But very effectively done. It's not what we would term the 2.4 legal height under here. Uh, I'm six foot three and I can get around under here quite easily. Uh, and when we come through here, you'll see exactly what they're utilising this space for as a, another granny flat area. So beautiful kitchen, all air conditioned this side as well. It's all tiled. Nice big open plan living area all together. So you've got some lounge space over on that side. TV points are all in. You can see the mount on the wall there for the TV. Nice dining space that I'm standing in right now. And the kitchen's not very old either. Ceramic cooktop and underbench oven there. A bit more storage over on this side as well. So great space under here, really well utilised. And then this huge room here, so you can be used obviously as a bedroom. Maybe you're looking at um, running a business for, from home downstairs here would be perfect for that as well. Tons of storage. You've got built-in robes that side. That doorway there goes through to the single garage. Also air-conditioned. And then you've got this big triple slider wardrobe on this end of the room as well. So if I guess like these people, they had a parent living with them. Maybe you've got older kids saving to buy a house. Kids uh, that are, are looking for some help to get some money together. Mum and Dad can help you guys out. 
All the compliant smoke alarms are fitted throughout the house as well. And then through here, we've got a combined bathroom and laundry as well. So toilet there, one of these little round slider door showers. So one of those molded ones. Yeah, just lots of little extras these guys have gone into. They put in the venting up there to help keep moisture down so you're not getting mould up on the roofs. There's also a fan light up there, exhaust fan to take that moisture out. But really well maintained. Let's tell the homes where people have looked after them well over the years. If we come out into the garage, just got a bit of storage space down that side. Some workshop bench space at the end, so it's quite deep. Single garage. Floor's not long been repainted in here as well. So, as I said, really well maintained throughout. Okay. While we're down here, actually, no, I'll take you out the back from upstairs. When we go out through that way, let's go back out through the front and up the front stairs. So totally separate from downstairs to upstairs. There's not uh, no internal stairs there. It's completely independent. So look, even if you're a young first home buyer, maybe you could uh, look at renting that space out downstairs. It'd be a good option there to help keep the mortgage down. As we come up the front stairs, nice big front veranda. Got the shade cloths already fitted out there. You do get the morning sun in this side. So great space there. Again, all security screen through those access windows. All right, as we come into the entry, nice big foyer. I'll take show you those built-ins there in a moment. Huge lounge room. You'll get a great size lounge suite uh, in there. Big entertainment set big tv it's all air conditioned there as you can see carpeted room which brings us through to a combined kitchen and dining so we get a nice big six or eight seater there no problem at all have a look at this kitchen it's just stunning near new kitchen nice big wide benches plenty of cupboards nice big corner pantry there um, fridge ready to roll that will stay with the property price pending of course wall oven ceramic stove top it's all uh, it's an induction stove to that one so quick heat up uh, you've got range hood above that plenty of underbench Cupboards, dishwasher as well, great LG dishwasher. So it's just quality right through. I'll take you through the laundry when we go out the back. Have a look at this hallway storage. You've got four big robes here. It's a ton of room for linen and all your extra bits and pieces along here as well as we come up the hallway to the bedrooms. It's all tiled up through here, which I love. Low maintenance. Bedroom three there, air conditioned as you can see. You've got uh, the um, security screens again all the way around. You've got roller blinds uh, on your windows. So they're just up at the home. You can see those. No built in in this one, but certainly room to pop one in if need be. Some data points down there. Bedroom two over here, again, air conditioned, all nicely tiled. Paints in great condition. Built-ins in here. Plenty of hanging space in that wardrobe. And as we come through to the master bedroom, of course, generally they're the bigger ones. Look, and you'll get a king size bed in there, no problem at all. Again, also air conditioning. So, air conditioning everywhere you look in this home. And built in robes there as well. Again, all hanging space through there. Pop some shelves in on the end there if you wanted some. 
but plenty of storage space. Come back out, we've got a separate toilet. There, that's all been replaced there, the toilet system. Near new bathroom, separate bath and shower there, of course. Now you've got the handheld shower nozzle and the shower rose above it. Twin vanity, floating vanity there. Just quality throughout the whole home. All right. Let's head out the back. More surprises out there. An upstairs laundry, which is great. So storage shelving uh, in along there and rails. Plenty of room for dual washer and dryer. Maybe you could pop another beer fridge or freezer out here as well. Certainly plenty of room for that. Brings us down onto this beautiful rear deck. So originally there, what looks like an old widow's walk back in the day. That's where the clothesline used to sit. You'd have a hill's hoist out on the end of those left that in and then you've got this great deck out here insulated roofing over it that's oh, nice and cool dartboard up in there game of darts you've got some uh, clothes hanging space there under cover but still captures a nice breeze to grow quickly those roll down shades as well well I don't know that you'd use them too much the trees in behind here have grown really well Keep that afternoon sun down. <clears throat> there might be a small window there where they might need pulling down, but it wouldn't be for long, I wouldn't imagine. All right, let's head downstairs. So this rear door here is the one that come off that rumpus room that we first walked into downstairs. It's down the side here. Tank here. It's great for watering. Fence there, just storage space there. So dual rainwater tanks, they're set up for out, outdoor watering use. And barbecue, wood barbecue area out here. You might be wondering about this structure as we were wandering around. A little surprise in here, spa. So great little spa room there. The roofing on here originally was shade cloth, so it's not council approved for fixed roof. If you're worried about that, you can take it off and uh, put some shade cloth up over it. Um, owner is selling it as is, so we will make that known up front. But good solid structure, somewhere to enjoy a spa at the end of a long week. That's all got its uh, cool compliance certificate through too, so... Everything meets the code there. It's just these details that these owners have gone to over the years to present this really well. In under the deck, most people would have just left that as storage. It's all been pebble creeded through. Great storage space here. It's all retained in off the backyard there. Just great, nice little features right the way around. And as we come up to the backyard, you might notice this grass doesn't look like the usual grass. That's all artificial, so easy maintenance here. A little bit of grass up on that section there. So if you've got a dog or something like that, they, they do like a bit of their own grassed area. That's for them up there. Nice big shed there as well. Big garden shed. And some nice, easily maintained gardens and yard around this side as well. So it just presents so well. It's all fenced uh, at the rear. Really is a credit to the current owners and will make for a great purchase for the new ones. It's uh, move in ready for sure. All right, I'm going to finish up on this back deck today. It's a warm day. It's, it's almost the end of April and it's still warm here. 
uh, but there's a beautiful breeze floating around out here. So thanks for joining me on this tour of 10 Carroll Street in Sun Valley. As you've seen, a lot packed into this home. Uh, it's on a 607 square metre lot. You'd never guess that uh, with everything that's here, but these high set homes don't have a huge footprint, but you certainly can fit a lot in. Easy maintenance, all the hard work and big money's been done and spent. So give me a call if you're finance ready, everything's ready for you to go on terms of uh, your purchasing situation, give me a call 041 1945. I'd love to help you make 10 Carroll Street in Sun Valley your new home. Cheers.